The first flight embraces the sky over Oweri, and the destination is the federal capital territory, Abuja. But on the ground, there's strict compliance to the NCDC COVID-19 protocols, such as the use of face masks, maintaining social distancing, washing of hands, as well as constant fumigation and disinfection of the airport. Some passengers insist the directive of arriving at the airport three hours so before flight needs an adjustment. I think maybe three hours before is a bit long because I came here at uh, 8.30 and uh, I was waiting for an hour before checking in. So I'm not sure that we need to get here three hours. Meanwhile, staff of the airport authority are happy to be back at work and pledge to continue to ensure that the COVID-19 protocols are strictly adhered to. Why we are saying the three hours is for you to come and follow the normal procedure. Because before, you don't wash your hands. You understand, you board your flight. So it's not actually, it must be three hours. From the Imo Airport in the southeast to neighboring River State, where the Port Harcourt International Airport received its first flight after months of closure. From the south-south to the Malam Aminu Kano Airport in northwestern Nigeria, this time it's the Minister of Aviation leading a delegation which has members of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 to oversee a simulation of flight resumption with Max Air VM1644. The Minister of Aviation takes time to explain the seating arrangements in the aircraft as it certifies the airport ready for full domestic operations. In the sitting in an airplane because of the nature of the airplane, the airplane is hygienic enough. Once you have your mask, you are safe to remain seated on your seat. Where possible, we will keep the distance. Meduguri is ready, we will resume our operations normally. And all the air airports in Nigeria by the 15th, which they will all open, uh, we will make sure that they are ready before we open. The chairman of the Senate Committee on Aviation, however, oh, identifies some uh, gaps at the airport. I just observed that um, uh, on what I saw in Abuja, uh, the airport, I want to suggest to the minister and the ministry by extension to look at the possibility of increasing uh, more um, um, supply of water to the departure point of this airport. With a commitment to bridge the identified gaps, the Presidential Task Force gives a nod to the readiness of the airport to resume operations in line with COVID-19 protocols.